Santa's in the house, where your kids can have breakfast with the big guy and how to take the perfect holiday picture with your kids. And go on. And guess what? He has landed right here in Studio B. And the kids are going absolutely crazy over Santa, where your child can have breakfast with the jelly old elf. That's coming up. Plus, tips for getting kids to pose for great holiday pictures. Stay with us. To give him our list with a very special elf as well. Byron Lawton goes by Jingles during the holidays. He's here with Lauren Hammond from the Transplant Foundation. First of all, your story is really awesome. You are a transplant recipient. Uh, yes, I was born with cystic fibrosis, and uh, I was lucky enough in 1997 to have a double lung transplant. Wow. And uh, That was in the early good. days of early double days. lung yes, transplants. Yes, yes. So how are you doing today? Doing great. Doing fantastic. Uh, Breathing just like a normal person and uh, feeling great. And that's part of why you dress up in this elf costume. Not that it's not a good look, Byron. <laughs> it is a good look. <laughs> Lauren, <laughs> and tell us what's going on this weekend. Everybody can participate and help folks like Byron. They can. We are actually having a breakfast with Santa and elf this Saturday from 8 to 10 at the Applebee's in Cordova on Germantown Parkway. We have a team here called Team Mid-South. We participate in the transplant games. It's a biannual event. Uh, last year, it was held in Houston. This this coming up year in 2016 is going to be held in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. These games are kind of costly, sure. so to help our participants like Brian uh, go to these transplant games, we are hosting fundraisers to help with the cost. Okay, perfect. You actually participated in which sports? Uh, uh, back in Houston, I did uh, racquetball and basketball. Did you win? Uh, I came close. Honey, you're here. You're a winner. Right, right. Yeah, you right. Right. Yeah, you have not <laughs> slowed down at all. Right. Right. The main thing is not to necessarily win or lose. It's just everybody being able to have a second chance at life. What, now, about, some of the, what about some of the other participants? How involved are they in all of this? Uh, they all are helping out too. Uh, it, Applebee's this Saturday has donated their time for yeah. breakfast with Santa and, and a lot of the other uh, transplant patients are going to be serving uh, breakfast and so I'm, I'm going to be so helping cool. out with, with Santa. So uh, Jingles will jingles. be right there. <laughs> jingles will be right there in the midst of all of it. Now so. you do need people to register in advance though because uh, you know people just shouldn't show up. They might not get a chance. We to... would like, because it's in a restaurant setting, we would like for people to go ahead and, and buy tickets in advance. Sure. You can show up the morning mm -hmm. of. That's okay. We'll still take it because we need the money to help the our team get to Cleveland. Yeah. Um, but it, it's, it's amazing to meet these people like Brian because he was literally at death's doorstep. Yeah. And now yeah. he's able to play golf. These other people swim, run track and field. And even if you are out there and you are a transplant recipient or a donor or a tissue recipient, you can still join our team awesome. to go to Cleveland, just so you know. Um, and also, it's a wonderful cause. Yeah, and we it have, really and, is. And you can be really physically advanced, like Brian, yeah. where he can do the golf and the track and things, but they've added this year singing, mm -hmm. dancing, oh, really? trivia, wow. cornhole. So you don't have to be able to really be athletic. You can be as high. athletic as I am, which is not, <laughs> <laughs> and do trivia and cornhole. Uh, or you can be like Brian. So how large of a team are we talking about here? Is, is there a limit to the, 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 the... No, right now we have a team of about 14. Um, I know that some of the other... Uh, transplant teams that have been around for a while, like Philadelphia, have up to 50 members on wow. their transplant team. We need so to we show would like out. to get there. Sure. Yes, yes. So we would like to get our numbers way up. So if you're interested in joining, please let us know at midsouthtransplant.org or you can call us. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you know someone yeah, like we'll Brian. Yeah, we'll put the number on the screen Absolutely. as well. Yeah, we'll okay. definitely want to hang out with Jingles for Absolutely. sure. And meanwhile, yeah. can you put yeah. a good word in for us with the big oh, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'd be glad to. Be glad. There's yeah. the big guy yeah. over there. Yes, you know, yeah. Yeah. we got needs too. Yeah, so. we're going to be hanging out with you and some special guests that we have coming up yes, as well. Because if you go to the event at Applebee's, and we certainly hope you do, you're going to need a good picture out of that. So yeah. we'll give you some tips on how to get the best picture of your kid. With Pictures can be quite a challenge. We, we have one young <laughs> It's all Sterling. over the place. Look at Sterling Scott going? is like totally interested in the cameras and all the behind the scenes stuff, the production. Not one bit interested in Santa, but we'll see how that works out. Professional photographer Lisa Mack is here to share her secrets of getting a good picture. You're a newborn. You've done a lot of newborns. Now, yes. they're easy because they don't walk like Sterling, yes, right? Yes, they stay right where you put them. What's the toughest age to shoot? One, Sterling's age is really actually the toughest age to shoot because they don't Whoa. sit still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
it's a challenge for sure. It almost Everybody. failed. <laughs> Everybody. Um, so what do we do? How do you make magic out of all of this? Well, the, there's children are so unpredictable. You can't really make magic. But you can also prep your kids before a photography session. Okay. Especially with Santa because he's kind of scary to, yeah. you know, I mean, let's face it. Yeah, well, I mean, he is kind of scary. Big, he's furry, <laughs> round, red object person. So um, actually, I talked to Santa before the segment and he gave me some good pointers. Okay. So what does Fire Santa away. say, Lisa? And, and we're going to have yeah. some of our children here try this out, That's too. It. So at any moment, we may have to break away for tears and all that so stuff. So what does Santa say? Well, Santa actually said that oftentimes when the little ones cry, the smaller children, the babies, um, if you have a parent standing, maybe even like where I am, kind of off to the side, okay. behind yeah. the shoulder of Santa, what it, is you can sometimes get a photo what where it looks it? like <laughs> the baby is looking at Santa and not actually the parent. So oh, if, oh, that's a great idea. If I'm back idea. here getting her, the baby's attention, the baby would be looking at me, and, oh, and it looks smart. like the baby's looking at Santa. Yeah. But can we try that with Janie Mack? So in this case, we have we have Grandma. No, Janie Mack's saying no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd like to experiment with this and see if we can get it? There we go. Oh, here okay. We go. All right. Let's see what we got here. No, that ain't working. <laughs> so what you're saying is, if Grandma, Grandma, come on over here, come on over here and see if so what she, else are you well, recommending? she seems happy. Lisa. Well, not only that, but um, oh to Look make sure here. you visit yeah. Santa, maybe not at the busiest time of the day, so okay. that Santa can take the time to actually spend with the baby Is or the child. earlier in the morning, later in the afternoon, or what do you recommend? Definitely not around lunch or after work. Okay. So early afternoon, maybe or in the mornings, that's the best time. And gotcha. nap time figures into that, I'm sure. Yes, I wouldn't want to take the baby close to nap time. <laughs> what age is, because I remember at eight and nine months, mine had sort of a separation anxiety. Right. Is that just when you just shouldn't even bother? Well, if you um, want the smiley, happy pictures, then you may be a little disappointed. <laughs> so just come prepared and don't have high expectations, you know? Okay. Just have a good don't time. Don't get stressed. Don't get stressed, because your baby can, can feel that as well. What about uh, Lisa bringing like a favorite toy like Santa has right there? What do you recommend there? Toys are awesome. I, I When I'm shooting, I ask for parents to step aside so that I can have the child's attention for the most part. But in this case, um, Santa having little toys or a favorite object, that's perfect. Sometimes that's a good distraction. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear so far uh, mm -hmm. like, well, I don't know. We've, this is Willa and she seems pretty she seems pretty happy she actually does. Yeah, she, I yeah. got some shots of Willa earlier. She was chilling, having a good time. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's, she's had enough, however. <laughs> and then Kenny's a little bit older. At what age? I mean, she's, I think, almost three. Two, two and a half, three. This is Adam Hammond's little adorable oh, daughter. Look at her. Now, she's a little shy, so maybe the older child, that might be tough, too. It is, but I have I found that if you really do prep your child beforehand, especially at her age when she's old enough to, to reason with at okay. some point, um, rewards are great. A lot of positive reinforcement. Bribery. Bribery. Uh, bribery that's a works. nicer way to say it. Uh, <laughs> rewarding is a nicer way to say it than bribery. Yeah, but, but bribery um, really works. Yeah. It does. And, and just preparing, just saying, you know, let's practice our cheese words or Mickey Mouse or Santa, you okay. know, and okay. having them ready. So that maybe, she's familiar. Yeah, okay. familiar with cameras, with Santa. Now, so. she might not give the toy back at That's that true. age. So that might Lisa, be a we're problem, Lisa, we put too. your information up there on the screen where okay. parents, grandparents, okay. and others can track you down, especially Good. during the holidays. Cool. Thanks so Thank much. you very much. Thanks Ken for having Kenny's me. not getting off the lap. She has a That's long list. Great looking kids <laughs> over here for sure. Thank you We're going to so take much. a short break. More News Channel for you live at 9 in just a moment. And there's Sterling.